There's a Japanese saying that goes, Wear kimonos till you drop in Kyoto and eat till you drop in Osaka. While Kyoto is all about heritage and tradition, Osaka is fast-paced and adventurous. Kyoto has its temples, shrines, and UNESCO World Heritage Sites, but Osaka has its cuisine, shopping districts, and amusement parks. This yin and yang complementary relationship suggests that these two cities are somehow designed to be enjoyed as one single destination. Japan in general is expensive, but for budget travelers, you'll be glad to know that not everything fun in these destinations should break the bank. In fact, several draws here are affordable to the average traveler. Some are even free. Hey there poor traveler, we are Vince and Josh. In this video, we're sharing with you some of the budget-friendly tourist sites that you can visit in Osaka and Kyoto. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified when we upload new travel videos. Go Temple Hopping in Arashiyama This iconic district in the western fringes of the city is a nationally designated historic site and place of scenic beauty. If it's your first time here and you have this strange feeling that some parts are familiar, don't freak out. You've probably seen it before in paintings or postcards, especially when the area is dressed in the fiery colors of fall. It's best known among tourists for its incredibly snap-worthy bamboo groves. Hi guys! So, nandito na kami sa Arashiyama Bamboo Forest. So, or another, tatawag nila dito is Arashiyama Bamboo Grove. And, ayun, kakatapos na kami mag-cruise and nilakad lang namin hanggang dito. Mga, I think, a 10-minute walk. A walking and biking path cuts across a forest of towering bamboos that create a cooler, rustic atmosphere. Concealed in its deciduous forests and bamboo groves are temples that are worth a visit, including Horinji Temple, one of the five head Shingon Buddhist temples in Kyoto, and Ryuji Temple, the best among the five great Zen temples of Kyoto, and the UNESCO World Heritage Site, and Nonomiya Shrine, a Shinto shrine founded around 800 CE. With the exception of Tenryuji Temple, which collects a 500 yen admission fee, access to Arashiyama's temples are free of charge. If you have a bigger budget, take a quiet boat ride down Oi River. Prepare your eyes to be treated to awesome views of the river banks. If your timing is right, you'll even see a paddling of ducks in the water. Boat rental costs 3,500 yen for the first two persons and 1,100 per additional passenger. Walk under thousands of Torii gates at Fushimi Inari Shrine. Among the deities of the complex Shinto pantheon, probably the most revered is Inari, the patron of rice, tea, and merchants. One in every three shrines throughout Japan is devoted to Inari, and many business owners, even heads of large corporations, visit these shrines for blessing and guidance. Fushimi Inari Taisha, located in Kyoto, is Inari's principal shrine. Located at the foot of a mountain, Fushimi Inari Shrine is well known for two reasons. The thousands of vivid vermilion torii gates that cover the walkways leading up to the shrine precincts and the dozens of stone foxes that guard these shrines. The fox statues known as Kitsune serve as messengers of Inari and are frequently portrayed clutching an item significant to the deity, be it a jewel, a scroll, or rice. Those seeking Inari's blessing bring offerings to Kitsune in hopes of gaining their favor. If you feel adventurous, you can hike up the mountain to access the higher precincts and catch an impressive view of the city. These walkways span about 4 kilometers and can take a couple of hours to traverse. Fushimi Inari Taisha is free and easily accessible by train. The Inari station of the JR Naira line is located just outside the shrine entrance. Improve your fortune at Kiyomizu Dera. If for whatever reason you only have time to visit one Buddhist temple in Kyoto, Kiyomizu Dera or Pure Water Temple should be on top of your options. Founded by the Hoso Buddhist sect in the 8th century, the temple got its name from the clear waterways over which the temple premises were erected. Kiyomizu Dera's foremost attraction is its main hall, a favorite subject among Japanese painters, poets, and photographers. Housed within is a statue of the canon Bodhisattva, the Buddhist goddess of mercy. Overlooking a panoramic view of Kyoto is the main hall sizable veranda, which is supported by a 13-meter-high 
wooden pillars noted for not using a single nail during construction. Entrance to the main hall requires a 400 yen entrance fee, but access to the rest of the complex is free. Experience the Kyoto of yore in Higashiyama. Just outside Kiyomizudera is Higashiyama District, a quaint little village that would fit nicely in a Kurosawa period film. Many pilgrims pass by this village to get to Kiyomizudera, and the road leading up to the temple is lined with mom and pop stores, confectionery stands, and tea shops. Traveling the 2 kilometer uphill stretch is never dull, not if you have a box of mochi in one hand and some matcha ice cream in the other. The old-fashioned houses have been serving visitors for centuries and can be quite festive and jam-packed during holidays. This is especially true during the Hanatoro Festival in March when the shops extend their service hours and the streets are illuminated by thousands of lanterns. Both Kiyomizudera and Higashiyama District are a little far off from the railway network, but you can still take a leisurely stroll if you plan on visiting Gion District anyway. But if you don't want to walk, your best option to get here is a 15-minute bus ride from Kyoto Station to the Kiyomizumichi bus stop, followed by a 10-minute walk. Bus tickets start at 230 yen. Immerse in Osaka's urban culture in the Tonbori and Shinsaibashi. Originally a theater district, people go to Dotonbori for its cheery nightlife and ample food choices. The variety of neon signboards, entertainment centers, restaurants, and street food kiosks or yetai are a feast for the senses. Landmarks include the Glico Man giant signboard with his signature winning pose and the Dotonbori Canal. Delicious street food can be yours for as low as 200 yen per serving. Have your fill of Osaka staples like Okonomiyaki, Takoyaki, and Kushikatsu. Where the Tonbori is a food lover's paradise, Shinsaibashi is a haven for shoppers. Shinsaibashi boasts a 600-meter covered stretch full of fashion boutiques, retail outlets, sporting goods stores, and electronic shops. One of the oldest shopping districts in Japan, founded by a Japanese merchant in 1622, Shinsaibashi has something for everyone from posh designer bags to 100 yen novelties. Most stores offer duty-free privileges if you have a passport to show. The Dotonbori and Shinsaibashi districts are adjacent to each other and located within the Chuoku Ward. Treat the history nerd in you at Osaka Castle Park. Osaka Castle stands imposing over the entire castle grounds like a full armored feudal lord overseeing his vassals. An important monument to Japanese political history, the castle was built by Toyotomi Hideyoshi the daimyo responsible for uniting the whole of Japan during the Azuchi Momoyama period in the 1500s. The castle is the crown jewel of the 106 hectare Osaka Castle Park where age-old moats and fortifications exist alongside stadiums, restaurants, and other contemporary buildings. Osaka Castle is itself a blend of the old and new. While the exterior has remained relatively faithful to the original design, the inside is modern in every aspect, with air-conditioned halls, an elevator, and an observation platform. A silent witness to numerous battles during less peaceful times, the castle now serves primarily as a museum. Aside from the main tower, spread across the castle grounds are 13 structures deemed culturally significant by the Japanese government. Many of these landmarks come with bilingual inscriptions detailing their role in history. The park itself is free. But entrance to the Osaka Castle Museum and other structures require an entrance fee. For the museum, it's 600 yen. Spot Geisha in Gion Gion District is famous for two iconic forms of traditional Japanese entertainment, the Kabuki and the Geisha. They are what people from all over the world travel to Kyoto for. While they are very different from each other, their roots are intricately tangled. Today, many visitors come here to see a real-life geisha or maiko, which are often spotted at dusk on the way to work. If you ever see one, please respect their privacy and don't act like paparazzi and chase them around taking photos. You'll also find several heritage sites in Gion District including Yasaka Shrine, established over 1,350 years ago. Its vermilion-colored gate is a striking structure at the very end of Shijo Street. The main hall of the shrine features a honden or inner sanctuary and a hayden or offering hall in one building. Across it lies a dance hall adorned with countless lanterns with Japanese characters which are the names of the donors. 
The shrine is most famous for the Gion Matsuri, a summer festival celebrated in July. After exploring the shrine grounds, walk southwards past Minami Romon Tower Gate and just follow the adjacent road and you'll reach the Higashiyama Historic District crowned by Kiyomizudera. If you need more information about traveling around Japan, you'll find a comprehensive travel guide with sample itineraries on our website, www.thepoortraveler.net, or check out the links in the description. If you have something to add to this list, let us know in the comment section below. You can also follow us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Just look for at the Poor Traveler. You may also tune in to the Poor Traveler podcast on Spotify. That's all for now. Remember, plan smart, travel safe, and make every trip worth it.